so forth as the weeks go on. Um, so we'll jump right in. If you want to g- jump right into the top three games week one, I'll lead it off, obviously. Georgia versus Clemson. I mean, about as marquee yeah. matchup as you can get mm-hmm. at any point in the season, but to lead it off right in 2021 with fans back, I think it's insane that we're going to get that high level of a matchup right away. That's a playoff yeah. game. Yeah, oh, I mean it's it's a huge huge thing. Hopefully the the you know knock on wood, COVID doesn't knock out the 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 fan participation for that game in Charlotte. We'll see see how that happens with this Delta variant. But in terms of that game, uh, anybody you can go over to ugasports.com and check out some of the stuff that we've got over there. Actually, on our YouTube channel today, we had a exclusive interview with Dabo Sweeney the Clemson coach comes on to UGA Sports and talks That's with bold. former former Georgia head coach Jim Donnan who who works with us over there and you know Clemson's confident when a head coach we, he was asked by our staff what's your biggest concern going in this game and they he said backup quarterback when backup quarterback is your biggest concern when you're going in to play Georgia you know you've got a good football team so uh, Clemson, you know, he, he's not too worried about it, even though I, you know, with my prediction, I think he should be against uh, with North Carolina later in the year. But um, yeah, that's a huge one. And then, uh, you know, the next one on the docket there is Iowa versus Indiana. That's a, that's a really good matchup. I actually really like Indiana. Um, of course, you know, Penix Jr., we'll see how he comes back from injury. But one of my underdog players, the under the radar guys, Ty Freifold was one of the most electric wide receivers. I love his game. Like, if you, Sorry, Donovan, but if you go watch what he did against Ohio State, Tore him the up. dude's a highlight reel. He's waiting to happen. You, you know, you see these guys like a Dax Milne who really breaks out in one of his last seasons in college. I think, you know, obviously it depends a lot on Penix Jr. coming back with his injury. But Fry Fogel, one of the coolest names in college football, but also one of those guys who can really have a huge breakout year and be like a second, maybe third round wide receiver in the NFL draft. So, I'm excited about that one. Iowa's not usually too exciting. They're usually talked about, you know, more of the offensive line, which is their strength this season, one of the best offensive line units in college football. More of that, you know, grinding kind of game. But can Indiana really add that offense to push over Iowa? And I think so. They're one of my underdogs maybe coming up uh, for that big three also. And then that third game, Josh, has – you written all over it, Alabama, Miami. I don't know. Mm. I, don't, I don't know. This one's borderline. What's the spread? Thirty. Question this one: Does this one even belong in the top three? Because I think Miami is. If if anybody took that bet out in Vegas of the sixteen point, I think that's easy money. Because uh, Alabama is going to cover sixteen points. I mean, Donovan, what are your thoughts on that game? Yeah, I mean, you know, when I when I kind of thought about it as one of the top three games, it's more top three to see. You know, how how does Bryce Young fit? You know, does he go oh, for yeah. 300 or 400 yards passing against Miami, right? Is it a good game outside of the first quarter or is it done halfway through, right? You know, but it is two big name programs, you know, in a in a big time kind of night game, I assume, setting. So, you know, got to throw it in there. Yeah. East Coast, it's a little dark. Yeah. <laughs> and before we, before we get to our underdogs, I want to read off some of these comments here. Richard Mockmore, you guys got a like from a Big Ten fan and an Iowa Hawkeyes fan. SEC is a great conference. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate it. Make sure if you don't already subscribe to the 365 Sports channel. And before I forget, guys, I want to throw out a shout out to – uh, another show on the 365 Sports channel. That would be the hard count with J.D. Piquel. Uh, catch his stuff here. If you subscribe and turn on notifications each time J.D. goes live or puts out his stuff, you will get it. So uh, a great show that talks a lot of college football stuff as well. All the main topics, a real cool setup over there. So make sure to check out jd's stuff but now let's get to our underdogs of week 